and he was watching me eat! Hello everyone, it is me, Lightfeather, and today I have a very interesting story for you. It was all during the summer that I turned 14. Since the house I live in is a rental house, the people who own it decided to renovate it. But it's all owned by one big company and basically, well, the entire neighborhood is owned by them. So they wanted to do all the houses at the same time. So one day they arrived and they said they were going to do half the block first and half the block after like a month because they need to change all of the windows of all the houses and everything and everything. So they decided they were going to build a scaffolding because our windows aren't all on, well, floor level of course. So they wanted to start building their scaffolding. But the thing was, my mother had just recently gotten out of hospital out of a very serious operation because she had uterus cancer. Everything is alright now, of course, luckily. But she was recovering because she just gotten, had gotten out of the hospital for one day. So we asked the man, could you please do the other half of the block first before you do us? Because you know, they weren't wanted to start with us, but we asked them, could you please do the other half first? So they were all like, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, but we need to ask our supervisor, of course, but yeah, we're all fine with that. So they went up to their supervisor, sir, this woman ha had had cancer, she just had a very serious operation, could we just please do the other half first, so she can recover? No! Uh, but, but sir, it was like cancer, it was super serious and stuff. No, our schedule says do this one first! Oh yeah, but it's like the exact same thing because it takes the same amount of time, it's not like we need to do... No! So they still did this, us first. So just got out of the hospital, my mom had to deal with people walking over a scaffolding in front of our window. So this was a very stressful time for her, of course, and for all of us. But it got an even more annoying. Because what happens when children see people climbing over a scaffolding? They want to climb too. So in the afternoon, when the working men were all gone... Loopt er hier nou iemand? Yeah! Nu? Okay. So in the afternoon, when the working men were all gone, children would climb this scaffolding. Why is this a problem? Well, because we li don't live at, well, ground level, so we're not used to people walking past our window. Because, well, it's in the air. But then suddenly, children started walking past our window. It's, it isn't just walking past, because that wouldn't really be a problem. But then, one day, our neighbor kid, Paul, decided to ask my little sister if she would come out and play. But instead of ringing the doorbell, he stood in front of our window like this. Um, yeah, Paul? Is Dominique coming out to play? Uh, no, she doesn't want to, she's busy. Okay. Paul, why are you still standing in front of the window? So later on, he left. But then this happened every day, and at some point, I woke up, just, you know, early, around 12 p.m. So, I was sitting there, watching TV, eating my breakfast, and suddenly... There was Paul, standing in the front of the window, and he was watching me eat! And this was so weird to me, I was like, uh, could you not, please? And then he, I said, like, go away! So he stood aside, and he just watched our TV, and I was like, Stop doing that, dude, no, go away, this is really creepy. So later on, a few days later, one of the working men had left a screwdriver on the scaffolding. Why is this a problem? Well, with kids walking around, is that dangerous? Yes, it is. But, but what if a child finds out that when you bang it against the scaffolding, iron on iron, makes a lovely sound. So one day, Paul, again, was standing in front of our window, bing, bing, bing. Paul, could, could you not? Bing, bing, bing. Could you, could you stop, stop doing? Bing, bing, bing. Go away, Paul. So he walked away. But you know that sound is vivid. So a very long distance away, we still heard bing, 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 and it was driving us crazy. So yeah, that happened pretty much every day. The scaffolding was there, and the scaffolding was there for like a month. So that was annoying. Also to my mother, who was just recovering from a cancer operation. But it didn't stop there, because part of the scaffolding was also in front of my mother's room. And like I said, they needed to change all of the windows. So one day, they were changing my mother's windows while she was trying to sleep. Yeah, okay, so that doesn't work. But you think, okay, um, they changed the window and they're done? No. Oh, whoops! And they shattered the old window. Oh, doesn't matter, guys, it's just the old window, we have the new one here. And they left. They didn't clean it up, and there were sh shards of glass all over her floor. And nobody else was home. 
So she couldn't really go back to bed because she would slice open her feet and well it is dangerous and they didn't clean it up so after recovering for like three days it was back then she had to vacuum and clean up glass and it didn't stop there you need to remember that this was in summer and one day one of the working men had had one of those milk based drinks which he didn't finish and left on the scaffolding in the sun in front of my mother's window. So yeah, you know what happens then. It started to smell like crazy. And in the end, I think we got rid of it because my grandmother came over because she was taking care of my mom and she got like a stick and pushed it off of the scaffolding and it basically fell off to the ground. So yeah, around a month long, my mother was trying to recover and well, we had people watching us through our window, visiting us through our window every day. Basically, annoying sounds, too much, too much all the time, because it is really weird if you never see anyone looking to you through your window because you live on like first floor, then suddenly people are standing in front of your window every day like <sighs> So that was the story about the home renovation and the scaffolding. Have you ever had an experience like this? Please let me know in the comments because I love to read your stories, you often have so many interesting stories. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe. I post stories and getting to know each other a little bit better videos like this on Saturday and on Wednesday I post either sketches or cinematics. All of this to spread the message that it's awesome to be yourself and to be unique and that you should never change yourself for anyone. So if you want to join us, please click subscribe, but above all I really hope you like this video. Just be unique, you're awesome the way you are.